Good evening, Hackology. Um, carrying on from Software Freedom Day, I thought we'd do a quick look at UNET Booting, which is a small binary um, or application that is available for Windows, Linux and Mac. And basically it's a small GUI that allows you to put certain distributions of Linux onto a USB device. Um, it's a GUI, so it's pretty easy. Just make sure you've got your settings correct and click OK. We're going to do a quick video demonstration of this and basically it allows you to run Linux as a live CD or as a, uh, an installer. Um, saves on DVDs, saves on CDs, um, very very small and very simple to um, get the ISO on there. Um, in the past, before this tool existed, it was very awkward to get Linux ISOs onto USB devices. This greatly simplifies the process. Um, so. As with before, it was quite easy to uh, completely screw up your USB stick or make it unusable, unformatable, unreadable, completely corrupt. Um, unit booting is a nice, quick, straightforward way to uh, get your Linux ISOs onto USB and uh, give them a try. So if you're thinking about using Linux, this is a great tool to start looking at all the distributions that are available to you. Let's get to the uh, demonstration. Okay. So. What I've got here is a 8 gigabyte micro USB um, memory stick or mm, micro SD card in a USB adapter. So what I'm going to do is run unit booting, which is So now you should be able to see the uh, unit booting interface. Basically these drop down lists here allow you to select the distribution. So for this one I'm just going to choose Subuntu and I'm going to choose the latest version which is the 12.04 and I want the 32 bit install. So um, we just go for the standard live edition. Uh, here you can add a custom ISO image, so say you downloaded an ISO image of Linux from a different website, you can browse to it by clicking this button. And here it allows you to either burn the image to a removable hard disk or a USB drive. Always make sure that these selections are correct here. If you for some reason manage to choose a physical disk, for instance your C drive, um, you stand the chance of overwriting data that may be critical to your machine. So don't blame me if you do this wrong. Always ensure that you have the USB drive selected and the correct drive as well. So we've selected the distributions Ubuntu 12.04 Live and we're going to burn it onto a USB drive which is inserted in the PC to the F drive and once I'm happy with all the settings in here just click OK and then unit booting will download the file and install it onto the USB drive which then will allow you to take that USB stick and either use it as a live CD or a live USB um, so you can boot and run Linux off the USB stick or it will also allow you to install Linux on any computer that you plug it into and go into the BIOS and set boot from USB stick um, this is a really cool way to install Linux because it saves on DVDs, it saves on CDs. Um, there are lots of distributions, all pre-configured, so all you've got to do is click one button and it will put it onto the USB stick and it will let you try out uh, various distribu distributions with relative ease and all from the same place. So uh, I highly recommend this uh, application. Once this is downloaded, we're going to come back and I will show you the USB stick booting in the, in the computer. Okay, so I'm just going to show you on the netbook here. If I um, move the USB device to the top so it's the first device to boot, press F10 to save changes, uh, followed by Enter. And now what the laptop's going to do is read from the uh, USB stick rather than the main hard disk so here we go this is the uh, Zubuntu or UNet booting front screen 
and here you can see we can try Ubuntu without installing or we could also choose to install it as well so I'm just going to let this boot and show you it all works perfectly well and that it's running from the USB stick and there you go we're running from the USB stick you have all the normal programs that you have available to you just running a fresh install of um, Ubuntu uh, So Hackology, that was uh, Unit booting in a nutshell. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, we'll be moving on and getting our hands dirty with some command line stuff in the uh, future or near episodes. Um, as always, have fun hacking and we should be back really, really soon. Peace.